Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD uh, as we shortly call it, is actually a group of lung diseases. And it's actually a lung disease which actually progresses and makes your difficulty in breathing. Um, in, in definition, what COPD is what chronic means. Chronic means it's a long-term condition, medical condition. It doesn't go away. Uh, obstructive means there's narrowing of your airway, which causes breathing to be difficult. Uh, pulmonary, a uh, simple medical term just to mention that is your lung and disease is just basically means a medical condition. For every 100,000 of Malaysians, uh, 20 of them will, be, will have COPD. Uh, actually in 2016, it was estimated that about 500,000 of Malaysians actually suffer from COPD. Uh, the recent National Mobility Survey actually ranks COPD as fifth in terms of disease burden, and this is reflected in the hospital admission rates data. COPD is a common condition. Uh, mostly we see it in elderly people or middle aged like commonly. And most of them are smokers or ex smokers. Uh, and they, they always present with breathlessness, which is gradual in onset, uh, doesn't come on acutely. And sometimes when the breathlessness becomes very bad, it can actually affect their normal activities. Risk factors for COPD is basically smoking. Uh, majority of COPD patients are smokers, uh, but there are other causes that can cause COPD as well, such as smoke, uh, dust, and air, pol air pollution. In some very rare instances, it's due to a genetic disorder. Um, if you have symptoms suggestive of COPD, such as breathlessness, which is gradually over time getting worse, or a prolonged cough, cough that's been going on for more than two weeks a month, it's not getting better. Uh, you should see your doctor to see whether you actually have COPD. And especially if you're more than 35 years old or you have a history of smoking, you should always suspect COPD. Uh, it's very important not to, not to ignore these symptoms uh, because if you have COPD, the earlier we detect them, the earlier we can start treatment, we can actually help to prevent your lung from getting damaged to a point where we cannot help anymore.